You're relaxing at the beach, the sun warm, the waves calm. Suddenly, the ocean disappears. Not a drop in sight. Then you hear it, a roar, louder than a freight train. You look up and see a wall of water the size of a skyscraper racing toward you. You have less than three minutes. What do you do? In this video, you'll learn how to survive a tsunami from the first few seconds of warning to the days that follow. We'll break down exactly what to do. When the water disappears, where to run if you're on foot, what gear can save your life, how to avoid deadly debris, and what nobody tells you about aftershocks and second waves. This isn't just about fear. This is a survival plan. Tsunami doesn't start with noise. It starts with silence. The waves pull back, exposing the seafloor. Fish flop on the sand. Boats tip sideways. People walk toward it, curious. Don't follow them. This is your only warning. Run now. Higher ground is your only chance. Stairs, hills, rooftops, anything above 100 feet. You don't wait for instructions. You don't film it. You move. It's not just water. It's cars, trees, boats, entire buildings thrown like toys. It moves faster than you can run, up to 500 miles per hour in deep water, 30 to 40 miles per hour near land. That wave will crush everything in its path. Even if you're a great swimmer, you won't stand a chance. The wave doesn't just hit once, it keeps coming. You don't want to be in the open. You want elevation, now. If you're at the coast and the water recedes, you have minutes to act. Drop what you're doing, run. Don't wait for the government. Don't grab your stuff, save your life. Find a tall concrete building, climb, get to the highest floor. If you're inland but feel the earthquake, still go uphill. Tsunamis can hit rivers, bays, and harbors, even hundreds of kilometers away. Worst case scenario, you're swept up. Try to float. Grab onto debris, wood, foam, anything that floats. Don't fight the current. It will pull you. Stay away from cars. They're death traps. Stay away from trees. They'll crush you. Keep your head above water. Conserve energy. The water is filled with broken glass, nails, metal. Every second is pain. People think it's over after the first hit. It's not. Second waves can come 10, 20, even 30 minutes later and be bigger. After the first wave, move even higher. Don't go back for anything. Tsunamis come in series. The second crushes what the first missed. Stay alert. The water recedes. But danger isn't over. There's raw sewage, oil spills, dead animals, gas leaks. Infection spreads quickly. Don't drink tap water. Use bottled or boiled. Stay away from flooded buildings. Emergency radio, rope knife, whistle. Keep it near your exit. When it hits, you won't have time to pack. Minutes matter. Most people freeze. Some film, others run toward the wave. That's human nature, curiosity. But in a tsunami, curiosity kills. You must act without hesitation. It's not overreacting, it's survival. Your instincts must kick in. Tsunamis are caused by underwater earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, landslides. When the seafloor shifts, it displaces millions of gallons of water instantly. The shockwave moves invisibly beneath the ocean until it hits the shallows. Tsunamis can cross oceans. The 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami traveled 3,000 miles. That means even distant quakes can threaten your shores. Don't waste time gathering everyone. Yell, point, run. Agree on a meeting point in advance. If someone refuses to move, don't wait. You can't save them if you die. Survival is not about being a hero. It's about making it to the next day. Governments issue alerts, but systems fail. Phones die, sirens can break. Don't rely on the system, rely on yourself. Know the signs, water pulling back, rumbling ground, birds fleeing. These are nature's warnings, and they're often more reliable than tech. In Japan, a 12-year-old girl survived the 2011 tsunami by running to her school's roof. She was taught what to do. She didn't hesitate. Thousands died that day. The difference? Knowledge, action, speed, yes. If you know when to run, where to go, what to avoid, and how to stay calm, you don't need to be a prepper. You just need a plan, a bag, a route, a mindset. 
The ocean gives life, but it also takes. It's not personal, it's physics. You can't stop the wave, but you can outrun the silence, if you're ready. You have this knowledge now, don't waste it. If this helped you, hit that like button. Subscribe for more survival stories, real-life sci-fi, and the dangerous what-ifs.